I want to talk today about value creation, a step in the negotiation process that's often overlooked. Most people, when you say, get ready for a negotiation, they think they're in a tug of war and they're either going to win or lose and they gear up to win and they'll withhold information from the other side. They'll do whatever they have to do to win. Well, I want to talk about another way of thinking about negotiation, another step in the negotiation process. It's not just about claiming however much value there is for yourself, but engaging the other side in, we say, trying to make the pie larger before you divvy it up. Value creation. And there are a couple of important things we've learned at the program on negotiation from our research on how to enhance value creation. First thing is, you need a mindset in a negotiation that says, I know, I know we're going to come to the value distribution part, but first, let's talk about how to make the pie larger. And we can tell people that there's some things you can do to do that that won't disadvantage you in any way when it comes time to divide the pie. Some people worry about that, but we're absolutely convinced that you can engage in the cooperative moves necessary to create more value without compromising your ability to claim as much of that value as you can before the negotiation is done. The first step in value creation, besides having an attitude that it says it's possible, is to focus on interests, not just yours, but the interests on the other side. If I know what my side or what I want, I need to invest a substantial amount of effort in trying to understand what you, what the other side wants, because my ultimate goal in value creation is to think of things that are pretty good for you and great for me. And if I can propose things that are pretty good for you better than your walk away alternative, you're likely to agree. And that process of mutual advantage being served by my inventing a way of meeting your interests and mine is the key to value creation. So do you, do you feel like all the parties have to be thinking that way? Or can you actually engage in this if you're the only one who wants to create value? I think, I think it's surprising. I think if I want to emphasize value creation and you could care less about it, I could still carry it off. I could focus my preparation time on thinking about your interests as well as mine. I could think about things I could propose that would be pretty good for you. I would emphasize trades. I'd say, what are the most important things to you? How can I meet those at low cost to me? How can I link those to things that are really valuable to me and what trades or packages I can put forward that you're likely to agree to? Now, having thought about your interests, I may need to put forward multiple trades or multiple packages to move the conversation in that direction. And if, as you were suggesting, I'm dealing with someone who not the least been interested in helping me get anything out of this negotiation, I still could put three or four packages on the table and say, which of these do you want to work from? Mm -hmm. Now, I've crafted them so that all of them are acceptable to me, and I think pretty good for the other side, but I'm not quite sure because I don't really know mm -hmm. as much about the other side's interests as I know about mine. So I could put multiple packages forward to a hostile person and say, which one do you want to proceed with? And the one that's more interesting to them is the one we'll proceed with. They don't have to like me. We don't have to have a great relationship. They don't have to be contributing to value creation. But by putting multiple packages forward that have embedded in them trades that are good for them and great for me, that's the key to moving in the direction of value creation. It seems like it would be much easier, though, if you did have a good relationship and you weren't just relying on the merit of 
these different packages that you've put together? Sure. If I've worked successfully with someone before and we know that if we invest some time in understanding each other's interests and developing trades for mutual advantage, and it worked last time to make the pie larger so that when it came time to divvy it up, we both got more than we expected, we're gonna do it again and again and again and again. So if we have a positive history of working together that emphasize the cooperative part of negotiation in which we create value, even though there's always the competitive part of dividing up that value, then we can go right to that place. Mm -hmm. But with people who don't know about that, who I don't have that history with, it's harder, but still possible. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit better this concept of packaging? What do you mean putting together packages? Yeah. Well, if you want something, I have to break it down. I have to say, I think she wants a lot of A and some B and some C. And I want X, most of all, and some Y and some Z. So here's a package. A lot of X, a little Y, a little Z, a lot of A, a little B, a little C. That's package one. But wait, I don't want you to give me your reaction yet. Here's package two. A little less X, a lot more Y and Z, and a little less A, a lot more B and C. So by putting together elements of the things I think that are important to you in different amounts, with, along with, elements of, that are important to me that I'm confident about, but in different arrays, that's what I mean by packaging. Mm -hmm. So you have to find out in advance what's important to me and what are these elements? How do you, how do you divvy up these different things right. that I might be interested in? Well, really, I think they're your interests. The kinds of things that are important to you in rank order, that's what I would consider interest to be, and a package is, I'll meet your first interest, at least as I interpret it, as best as I can, and your second and third interest as best as I can, as long as the whole package mm -hmm. is not so costly to me that it isn't worth getting what I want on my most important interest and second interest and third interest. So packages are really about interests being met in different ways and different degrees for the two sides. But notice, always linking them. That's what I mean by trades or packages. Mm -hmm. I'm taking bits of your interests and rolling them together with bits of my interests in different arrays. And I'm looking at that whole deal and saying, overall, how appealing to me is that and how appealing to you is that? My sense is that most people don't believe that there's a way to get what they want in the negotiation when the other side also gets what they want. And they make the big mistake of taking each item that's up for negotiation one at a time mm -hmm. and trying to conclude item one before they go on to item two. That's the antithesis of value creation. If I take issue one, it's not that important to you, but if that's the issue on the agenda, you'll say, I want everything on this issue. I'll say, well, I want everything. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's go to the next issue, see if we can find an agreement there. And in all three issues, let's say there were three, we could get no agreement. But if we said, which of the three issues is most important to you? Issue one, guess what? Issues two and three are more important to me. I'll give you what you want on issue one if you give me what I want on two and three. So that it's not just packaging, it's understanding the relative importance of the different issues that make up the packages. And people have got to be able to work with multiple issues on an agenda to create value.